let's get started then. I don't know whether we'll distribute this recording or not, but I'm going to go ahead and record it so we'll have it because people have asked. Uh, my, I'm Holly E. Moore. I think I've met almost all of you. And it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Hey again, Pigeon. It's a Cherry Hill weekend for you, isn't it? And Keith, long time no see. How's it going? Um, Keith, in case you need to converse with us later in the call, just know that we can't hear you, but you don't seem to be muted. And is there anybody here who's not yet met our new academic, new this year academic dean, Margot Wolf? Because I'd like to introduce you. And Margot, I wonder if you'd like to say anything before we get started. Uh, just good to be here. Good to see you all here and excited to see the, the shift uh, to Populi, which is a fantastic system that I think is um, really going to help our efficiency. Thank you. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you taking some uh, time out of your weekend to be with us. Uh, we'll keep this uh, most likely well under an hour. And um, if you have questions, you know that you can always ping me. Uh, what is Populi? Does everybody here have experience with some kind of college university system? Okay, so you know what a student information system is. This also has a learning management system, which will eventually replace Moodle. We're not going to do that all at once, but we're working on it and we hope to have fall regular classes in Populi. We have some test classes happening this summer. Uh, it covers things you had no idea, <laughs> things you don't even want to know about. <laughs> and I confess that even though we signed up in November, I am still learning. And so I appreciate your patience with me. We had a little bit of a hitch in March and I didn't pay much attention to Populi then. But um, I think you're going to find, as I have, that it's pretty intuitive. I like the fact that it's really fast. It's if you've got a good web interface, if you've got a good connect broadband connection, it really moves quickly. And everybody in school will use it. Students, faculty, staff, even new contacts. Our, all our forms that you find on our website right now are now in Populi. So uh, a lot of things are beginning to change. So the first time you are activated and everybody is in Populi at this point, the first time you are activated, you should get an email, which you must respond to within 30 days or it goes dead. And if you have not gotten something like that, let me ask you to email me. Remember, just chs at cherryhillseminary.org works fine. And I will do that by tonight. And uh, so I also strongly recommend that you just put a little shortcut on your browser. Mine's on my toolbar with a little icon and I click in and out of it all day long, uh, especially if you use some sort of password vault. Um, you know, you don't even have to remember your password to click into it and log back out, whatever you need to do. So what are you supposed to do in there? Well, you can first start by getting acquainted with it by looking at your own profile when you go in, get yourself in there. And I've robbed pictures from our website or your, sometimes your Facebook, <laughs> if you hadn't sent me anything, anything I could get to put a photo of you and a little bio. Uh, there's, there's a real limited character limit there, but you can put something there. Uh, when you have a class in there, you can build your own classroom. I am told, I'm from the days when we did not have learning management systems, but I am told that this looks pretty much like most others. And um, when you get in there, you will be able to add things like your syllabus, course information, lessons. If you want to divide those up week by week, topically, whatever you want to do, just the way we do in Moodle now. Uh, except as populate. Uh, and you're going to want to uh, interact with your students as you always do. And this will be much easier because when we 
write anything in Moodle. How many of you got a, an email in the last few days from me? But the domain it sent from was from populi.co. Yeah. And guess what? The gro groovy thing about that is that it's now listed on a wall, a bulletin board. Every communication that I either send or, or I'm, I receive or I'm copied on is in there. So you can easily go reference whatever's going on. But it will also come to you as an email or a text if you set it to do that. You can tell it what you prefer. Let's see. And then you'll also be able to post your grades in the grade book. They're right in your classroom. Yay, finally. And uh, you'll also be able to mark a student incomplete. They'll still need to let the office know if they withdraw. And uh, we do that coding. Uh, but those are just some of the things you can do. So I'd like to go in right now and share my screen and just give you a little tour. Uh, I'm not trying to teach you how to use Populi today because one, y'all are all smart people and you probably don't need me to show you where to put your mouse and click on the little button, but uh, I will kind of give you a tour around and show you where the help files are. Uh, I do want to know before I go uh, put you off screen, how many of you did watch the video I sent out? Yes, yes. The rest of you, you will really love it. Watch it at bedtime. <laughs> and as I say in my memo, probably the first 30 minutes out of more than an hour is plenty for faculty. A lot of that is administrivia. So, but it still will give you a good idea of what we're dealing with. So, give me a set here. So as you can see, here's my button up here. Can everybody see my mouse? I can make it larger, the bright green thing. Uh, and I set it so I never have to worry about typing anything in. I've got my browser set with a password vault. And here we are. Now, do you see the same thing I do as an admin? I'm not positive about everything you may not see, but I still think it's helpful for you to know what all's in there from my view today. So this is what I see. And Holly, you can see there, yes? The only thing that I see on mine is home, my profile, my course directory and advising. Okay, I think that's correct. That's that should be correct. Same here. Okay, so let's go to your profile. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, there's my history. Honestly, I can't remember right now what the bulletin board is. Uh, or why it's different from the activity feed, but that's okay. This is uh, your address, phone number, anything you wanna put in there. You can add files. At this point, for those of you with advising responsibilities, you can look at a student now and see all the files that I have had so far. They're all now stored on the Populi server which it should be much easier for you. Uh, I'm not teaching any courses right now, so we're not gonna see anything there. As a student, they are already very happy with this. They've sent me a few little corrections, but you know, a student can um, see what they're up to. They can do, what's called a degree audit. Oops, can't see that here. But it will tell them this shows 
what my degree had to have. And this would show the student what they got in each category of courses so far, so they can see how they're meeting their requirements. Communications. Can y'all see this? I mean, on your in your profile, are you able to click on good? Because you may see that we have some lists in there. I would appreciate it if you don't email all students if you're not needing to communicate with everybody, but you can. Uh, let's see. Let's just do staff right now. There's our staff up here in the top. Near the top is a little button that says actions. I can send an email, a text, compose a letter to print, labels if I really needed those anymore, or I can just get rid of it. Uh, Holly? Yes. Um, I'm actually following along on Popular right now, but I don't have uh, the communications thing. I don't know if it's just an admin thing or okay will you do me a favor and just shoot me an email okay and um that that kind of becomes my de facto uh, to-do list and since this is a sunday that means i won't forget <laughs> thank you uh so let's go on there are some other things we will be able to do like set up are y'all familiar with a, a concept called a drip campaign? Okay, you know how when you, um, let's see, okay, you go to the LLB website because you're feeling flush and you wanna buy a new jacket, but you don't do anything with it. And they send you an email about an hour later and say, hope you'll be back soon. And then maybe, a few days later, you get something else with a coupon in it. And maybe a month later, you get something saying we've missed you. Okay, that's a drip campaign. So in the future, um, we may uh, design some things that will take advantage of that kind of technology. Uh, we don't have campus notifications to worry about, thank goodness. Admissions, just so you know, all applications now link to here. Some of you've done this as an exercise and uh, the people who need to see these um, get a notification. Let's see, we get inquiries here too. See, here's somebody who has communicated with a couple of us and I'm gonna let you see that Margot wrote back and that person wrote back to us. See. Okay, academics. All our courses are entered in here, everything. And then everything is coded into course groups. So you know those pages in your student handbook that show the requirements for a degree? This would be, oh, let's see, like what you're supposed to get in group two. And those are your choices. So the reason this is important is because this will map out the degree for a student, whatever they are required to have. Then whenever this shows up with them registered, it will go on their record. Let's look at a course classroom. Francesca, can we look in yours? Have you been in there yet? Ah, look. Yep, I've also yes. got the, uh, I've got the syllabus up. Woohoo, excellent, okay. And um, as you can see, she can put in lessons here. She can upload files, ass make assignments and then grade them discussion boards, 
as I said, it really has pretty much all the functions that Moodle did, just you know, a little bit different arrangement on the page. Holly, can I ask what's the difference between like this um, files, lessons, and discussions? Because files, I understand, would be like if you had a reading for students, discussions would be, you know, our discussion things, but what's lessons mean? Lessons would be, for example, in your insights classroom when you have week one, week two, week three, and you've got stuff that you want them to see, read, do, visit that week, and you can set that up there. So. Okay, thanks. Yeah, and then I know you can add activities. And there are, well, we'll get to the help files in a minute. Uh, when people register, they're going to go into a list here. And then when you need to grade them, you'll go here. We don't take attendance. You could if you wanted to. Honestly, I, oh, I, I left out the part at the beginning of this uh, meeting that I'm still learning. No, I, I did say that, but I don't know all the answers. Um, some of it um, I had to prioritize. I'm not sure what the chat is for. It may be that you can do a class in there. I know Moodle used to work that way. Uh, I haven't looked at reporting yet. Does this offer us a way to do like a Zoom through Populi or when we do are we still using something like a Zoom? We'll continue with our Zoom account. I think that you, they now have a partnership and we could sign up for that, but, but we haven't done that. So those are our classes. And this is the magic button over here that you really need to make sure you visit frequently. And one thing I kind of like about it that's little is it always opens up a new window in my browser so I don't lose where I am. But you can see you can also submit a support request, look at things you've asked before, et cetera. But we're gonna visit the help page right now. And it's one of the best I've ever seen. So in all of these, you're going to, let's see, let's go to faculty. They're rough, put into some rough categories, getting started, assignments, lessons, and see there's uh, more articles here. So I just clicked on see all 10. Lots and lots and lots of information. You can choose how you want to learn more. Some of us, I'm good with reading instructions. Some videos annoy me to death, but they have a lot of good videos. A lot of stuff you really don't even want to know, including student tutorials, which they are getting right now. The students are gonna be doing what we're doing with you right now. They're gonna be doing that in early June. Let's see, staff, some of that is staff. Yeah, you don't need to know about that. But there is a YouTube channel or popularly. Hey everybody, Josh from Populi talking. Okay, and believe it or not, Josh has actually helped me before. Um, let's see, where's their, there we go. Hey everybody, Josh from Populi. This is no, from you, Josh. So you can see there's a gazillion videos. I wish that they were indexed or uh, grouped better, but you know, y'all are all smart and could do a search, I know. And there are other people who have made videos. Let's see. There are a lot of other schools who use Populi 
And occasionally I've done a search, Populi, admissions, whatever, and up pops a lot of different colleges. So those are also helpful. Here we go, that's showing more. No, we do not have plans for a plagiarism checker right now, mainly because of the cost, but it's on my radar. So that is um, just a little tour. This. So before I stop sharing the screen, I wonder what questions you may have. Oh, I was just typing mine. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering if those of us teaching in the fall could get access to our course shells a bit earlier so we can kind of get in the system and practice and- Yeah, yeah. Um, Marco, you're, you're close on having that for me, aren't you? Yes. As soon as I have the list, I will set you up. Okay. I will have that um, to you this week. Great, thanks. Okay, anybody else? Oh, and my other question is, um, does like a, a Moodle backup course port in to this course system? That was one of my first questions. And the answer was yes, but then it turned out to be not functioning properly in our case, naturally. I was gonna say, because so, Moodle is, our, our Cherry Hill Moodle doesn't seem to be, expo it's a, I exported a course and it was like a PDF. And I'm like, that's not a course export. So. Yeah, no, um, there's a backup function and the courses that have been created since last month when we installed a new version, uh, do it beautifully, but most of those don't count. So here's what I am offering faculty. If you have a, a, a legacy course that needs to be ported over, I will set it up for you. Cool. I need research methods ported over. I'll send you an email. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I know it, it's a bummer, but it's just uh, we, we are not sure what the previous hosting company did, but um, there were several things like that that just aren't functioning properly. That said, you will continue to have Moodle access and you can get into your course if you just need something or you want to copy something down. Other questions? Uh, just um, so you're aware, we don't plan right now to move the community ministry certificate or spider over because of the way they're structured and the way Populi, char they charge a base fee plus per student per month that they are registered in a course, which turns out to be quite reasonable. It's just that even this much is a big jump forward for Cherry Hill. So we're taking it a little bit slow because um, those courses work a little bit differently. I do wanna say that our board um, is really gung-ho about moving us forward in a lot of different ways. This is just one of them. And it was a significant investment. Um, so I think I want you to know that we had their backing and full support. In fact, our board chair attended one of these trainings. What can my students see and not see? Um, when you go in and send an email or you post something, put something on that bulletin board, whatever, uh, just be aware there's a visibility button underneath where you type in your message and you can show, is this just a, a confidential note that you're putting in 
and you only want the registrar or admissions or, or whatever. Uh, so you set that and be sure that you're sensitive about what you write and show professionalism, of course. Okay, one more thing I'd like to, uh, oh, somebody asked in the previous training about sort of a sandbox course. I started setting one up and discovered that it will only allow up to four faculty members. So if you need something, I can just set something up so it's out there and make it a, another test course. Um, but I also, I suspect you're gonna find it fairly intuitive. I don't think it'll be too hard. And I think watching the um, Populi video on setting up a course will be very helpful. And then I have one more thing I just wanna say. We have um, bootstrapped ourselves along for a long time and uh, been real cheapskates too because we're so tiny and we just didn't have the budget for a heavy duty infrastructure. And I wanna thank you all for being as supportive and flexible as you have. Uh, March was kind of our worst nightmare come true. We're in uh, about a 300% better position now with a new provider. And I'm very happy with them so far uh, and hate that everybody had to go through that in the middle of a semester. We did not see that coming. Um, that All that said, please keep in mind that our words carry weight and we've often had people over the years make you know, snarky comments about Moodle or whatever. And, you know, I understand, but guess what? The buck stops at my desk and the complaints come in here when students are unhappy, when people write me and they're interested, but they've heard negative stuff about Cherry Hill. Um, just remember that stuff stays out there forever. And most of the time when I see something on social media, and I do, I know that that person really hasn't ever been a student of ours, but they're repeating what they've heard and they've probably heard it from one of us. So please endeavor to be as positive as you can. Um, I'm about to turn into the Wicked Witch of the West over comments about uh, tech problems and Moodle snags. While it's true that we have had those, one, our students are not born yesterday and they know when somebody is using that as an excuse. And two, it, it may not be a tech problem. Most of the time it is a user error Sometimes it's my error, and y'all know from experience, I hope, that you can contact me, and I will almost always get back to you within either minutes or hours, and if I don't know the answer, I'll find out. The nice thing about Populi is you're now going to have direct access to their support, uh, so I hope that will, will help a great deal. That's one of the reasons we went with the program. Okay, y'all are awfully quiet. I know we all want to get back to our Sunday afternoon, but have you got anything else you want to ask or feel out? Okay. Well, Francesca, you're our first guinea pig of the summer, so I hope you have a really good experience in there. We'll, we're all going to be watching you. You're in the fish tank. I, I enjoy it so far. Moodle, when I looked on how to use it, actually scared me, and I've used a lot of online platforms. It was just not that intuitive, but this was like, oh, th this is this is me friendly. Ah, good. That's yeah. great. Well, and as Margot is fond of reminding me, we all learn in different ways, and um, I hope this will accommodate people's different approaches to learning. Having completed oh. graduate degrees under both platforms, Populi is way more user-friendly for the students. Good, good. Glad to hear that. Um, oh, uh, one little detail that teachers often ask, 
about uploads. We had a, a real strict upload limit for, for large files, particularly videos in um, Moodle, mainly because we have a limit to how much server space we have. This is not our server. <laughs> so while we don't have unlimited space there, your students should be and you should be able to easily upload videos, which has been a little trickier in the past. Okay. Marco, you got anything for us? Oh, no, not at this time. But, um, you know, I've been dipping my toe into the system for the last couple months. And so I'm, I'm excited to just bring everything together. And so, you know, giving people the accessibility. Well, in that case, I appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for going along with us for this ride into some new territory. And we'll end the meeting now. So thanks. Take care. Enjoy your, the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye.